What's good guys, EA Sports just released a brand new title update September 8th, 2022. Really excited about some of these uh, updates here and I just wanted to jump in. I'm gonna have a full uh, breakdown on the on the patch a little bit later but I just wanna go through the notes with you guys real quick and then we'll have another video that will actually show you some things. Gameplay, general blocking updates, both run and pass blocking so we'll talk about that a little bit. Um, I, they definitely needed to update the pass blocking. Run blocking, I'm kind of interested, we'll see how that goes. Franchise, I'm not too going to, I'm not gonna spend too much time on some of these other stuff here um, but I do wanna get into gameplay updates. So tuning to pass block handoff logic to allow pass blockers to hand off rushers to adjacent pass blockers during a defensive shed move attempt when targeting a separate rusher. So basically they're going to tune, uh, essentially here it looks like they're going to tune uh, kind of some of those like disengages, hopefully. Uh, I'm thinking that 3-3 loop is probably going to be patched with this, uh, but that is something I think some of the disengages was really one of the primary issues, which is why nickel over is going to be really, really good and big nickel over G is going to be really, really good. That's why those were my two first ebooks, because those ebooks books were over the long haul if you want to learn how to run those ebooks make sure you're on our patreon it's only ten dollars to become a member the link is going to be in the description of the video okay but let's keep going so so this is this is going to be interesting we'll monitor i'm gonna i also have an ebook on blitzing out of every formation in the game we're going to update that with this update okay so we're going to go through uh today and and test out all of our blitzes and make sure that we have everything up and did up to date for those of you that have that ebook so ebook updates are going to be coming today and tomorrow uh so make sure you're in the patreon for that as well patreon members get access to all updates uh so anyways uh fix an issue allowing a specific shed move to be too powerful and too frequently used by user controlled pass rushers so they passed the, they, they patched the user rush i'm pretty sure which was great that needed to be patched that was super Super cheesy um you saw that kind of running ramp in the community that's kind of why i didn't do a video on this i kind of assumed that would probably be patched uh fixed a run block targeting issue where the right tackle wouldn't block the defensive end on gun spread base yeah uh base i think base overall hopefully will be better base uh normally is one of the better runs in the game and this year has been not as good so anyways um yeah okay they're great um let's see what else we got fixed Fixed a run block targeting issue. Um, okay, so these are just kind of general bugs with certain blocking issues. Tuning to run blocker pursuit to improve the blocking path against user controlled defenders to better pick up user linebackers stacking behind linebackers and shooting gaps. Now that's a big thing, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna look into that. Okay, that's really big. P potentially, what this means is dime sets dollar three two six. Those were already hard shoots. Those might be less effective. I still think nickel over you're going to be able to be free solid against the run, but we'll monitor that and we'll have again a video breakdown of that. But that this could be a big deal. This could make inside zone base some of those runs much much more powerful. Tuning to pass block movement to make pass blockers commit sooner to rushers moving near the line of scrimmage at the snap. This tuning should reduce linemen from taking themselves out of position to block blitzers and provide better prediction for the movement direction of the rushers. Uh, okay, uh, kind of interested to see. I'm not sure how this is going to affect us. Basically, they're trying to fix the pass blocking, right? A lot of people have, you know, kind of said that pass blocking is the worst part of this game. Honestly, I like the fact that you can blitz in this game and it's effective. However, at the same time, we want to make sure that, you know, this is balanced. So I think they're just trying to balance this out a little bit. Tuning to improve pass block prediction to better anticipate the direction of the rusher when coming out of their stands and are moving very slowly. Okay, so this is, um, again, these are just general. We'll have to see how all this affects the blitzes. But I, I, if I had to bet money, it basically just means that the linemen are going to function better against the blitz it doesn't mean they're going to pick it up every time um it probably doesn't mean that they're going to be able to pick up some of the heavier blitzes but i think some of like the disengage stuff they're probably trying to tune uh with this and i really think this is three three loop but we'll see fix an issue allowing the tight end to be assigned incorrectly uh, after specific pre-snaps motions and bunch formations so this was in our bunch ebook very first ebook or one of the first ebooks we released in the first week of the game what you could do is you could basically motion any receiver again out of the bunch formation and you can block your tight end. Um, so you can motion out from bunch and then block your tight end and basically run a flood concept to the right like you normally would. However, they patch that. So that is no longer effective. So we're going to have to find different ways to block our tight end. Guys that have my bunch ebook, we will be updating that uh, as well. So make sure you stay on the lookout for that. That is coming. Um, tuning to reduce match distance match distance on blow up blocker interactions for user controlled defenders i'm not quite i don't know what that means um do you need to reduce match distance on blow up blocker interactions uh reduces the distance on this so basically i don't know i don't know 
Uh, tuning to ball carrier skill moves to reduce drastic changes in speed. Um, we'll see what happens with that. Uh, tuning to reduce fumble chance for wide receivers playing in halfback position. In the playbook package where wide receiver intentionally placed at halfback position, such as those found in 49ers and Rams playbook, the risk of fumbling was too high. Playing out of position will still carry a higher fumble chance than not, but it will no longer be as significant. Okay, great. I don't really do this, but great. Now, this is really, 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 really important. Uh, tuning to cover four quarter CBs to better cover outside streak routes and trips formations. I run a lot of match. We have a whole defensive ebook that's devoted to teaching you how to run match coverage. If you, This is a big deal. Um, so this is really good. I hope that they make this work like it's supposed to. Uh, very, very hopeful for that. Fixed a rare issue uh, causing a player to warp off the ground after a sideline catch. Not too concerned about that. Those are just, I mean, whatever. Um, fixed an issue causing receivers to sometimes step out of the back of the end zone while running their routes. Uh, yeah, I agree with this. This this is this is actually a big issue. So, uh, tuning to give elite receivers more separation versus defensive backs and man press. Now, this is a really kind of like you would read that and you might not know what that really is. They're basically saying you're probably going to have a little bit better time at beating man coverage after this patch. They're probably. It, it doesn't mean that man is not gonna is is not still gonna be good. It just means that if you have a receiver and he's gonna get sep he's, and you have a route good route runner good receiver and he's running a route he's probably gonna get separation. So that's a big deal I think because you know the brain dead meta of like blitzing six and playing man like it's just not really fun to play and the problem is it's inconsistent. Like what we were playing per currently is receivers would get separation on one play and then they wouldn't get separation on the next play and they'd be running the same exact route. Hopefully this changes that as well as we're getting better players. So I really am hopeful for this uh, a lot. Really, really hopeful for this. Uh, this actually was a really, really big thing I'm going to get to in just a second. But let's keep going. Uh, tuning to better conserve momentum of wide receivers during mid-air collisions with defensive backs. I don't know. Uh, I'm hoping this means that ag catches aren't as good. Uh, ag catches really shouldn't be as powerful as they've been. So uh, we'll see what that means. Fixed an issue allowing halfback wheel routes to beat cover one man coverage too frequently. Ah, okay, so they found that out. Yep, in U-Trips, we released this uh, in our U-Trips ebook we released last week. We talked about this, how the wheel route, at a certain point, it would actually get over the man coverage later on in the play. So, uh, yeah, good. Good on them. Yeah, perfect. Uh, tuning to reduce the catch chance on tip passes. Uh, really important, but what I don't know is, does this mean D-line picks? Or does this mean receivers? I honestly don't mind the D-line interceptions. I will say um, what I do, I, I, I think they maybe need to not be as frequent. But if you click onto the defensive lineman and you catch the ball and he's throwing out of a sack animation, I think that's fair. It's the receivers that are in triple coverage and they everybody like swats the ball out of the out and then like some receiver comes out of nowhere and catches the ball. I think that's way more fluky than the D-line picks. So... Uh, we'll see what this means, but overall, solid. Tuning to make AI quarterbacks target user-controlled corners and linebackers more. Uh, I'm not worried about that. Uh, variety of animation updates for first down celebrations. I don't really care. This right here, um, this right here is really good. Updated nickel alignment position in nickel and dime cover two man plays versus bunch. This was a, a pretty big issue. Basically, the nickel corner would be misaligned when he would when you would call this play against bunch. And I really hope that's fixed. Unfortunately, the one thing I was hoping to be fixed was they would add more match coverage plays back into the game um, that they took out out of nickel for no reason. Uh, that's one of the reasons why big nickel over G is so important because it's the only nickel formation in the game that allows you to have all of the match coverages that you need to be successful if you're running a match defense. However, they doesn't say that they did that here. We'll check it out in the game. And then updated the Detroit Lions live playbook. Three, four, three formations. Okay, perfect. And then, yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, Mutt updates. Um, not too concerned with any of this stuff here. But overall, good patch. Um, that is kind of some of the main updates. And then uh, we'll get a gameplay patch out to you here in just a second.